recognized for two minutes. Thank my colleague for uh, yielding, Mr. Chairman. I rise in strong opposition to the rule and the agriculture appropriations bill. Instead of helping Americans hit hardest by the recent recession today, we are debating a Republican spending bill that guts critical nutrition programs, which literally put food on the table so that millions of low-income women, children, and seniors don't go hungry. This bill hurts low-income seniors through cuts to the Commodity Supplemental Food Program. It cuts the Emergency Food Assistance Program, which could cause our local and it slashes the budget of the Women, Infant, Children WIC program, the effects of which will leave hundreds of thousands of women and children without adequate nutrition. WIC not only keeps our low-income families from hunger, but by emphasizing adequate nutrition, the program reduces the incidence of low birth weight babies, combats childhood obesity epidemics, and promotes school readiness by giving children the nutritional building blocks their brain needs to develop at a critical stage. Moreover, as it links these families to the local health infrastructure, it also increases child immunization rates. These benefits are not just to the child and the family. In fact, the program reduces overall health care costs for every $1 invested in WIC. We save about 2 to $3 in health care costs just in the first two months of life. This is an incredible feat. It's one that should be expanded. Instead, the bill before us slashes these programs, plain and simple, with only one result more Americans going hungry. When I asked my local food safety net providers what the Republican cuts would do to our community, the answer was clear. Without this assistance, which choice will it be, rent or food? My constituents have been loud and clear on this issue. Stop, stop trying to cut the budget on the backs of the poor, the elderly, and our children. I urge my colleagues to start listening to their communities. Vote no on the rule and vote no on this devastating bill. I yield back the balance of my time. Gentlewoman.